Hi there. I'm just getting back from a hike. So I thought I would do a gear review on uh, how to survive a Newfoundland winter. And this one is for dry weather and very cold weather. So I'll go in reverse since I've already been on my hike and just got back and my teeth are frozen because it was so cold. Anyhow, I'll go top to bottom and uh, hopefully this will help you get out there and enjoy the long Newfoundland winter season. All right, from the top and I better get it off soon or I'm going to melt. So I have my, oh, I'll start with these. I have Mountain Equipment Co-op sunglasses. They're, you know, good UV rating because the glare from the snow in the winter is uh, hard on the eyes. I have my, what I call my Elmer Fun Hat, which is awesome and it's, wind and waterproof and wraps down around your ears and snaps under your chin. Perfect hat, doesn't look the best, but it really works. And then I have my handy dandy headband, also wind proof as well and fleece lined, which covers up any little holes where the wind can get in and totally ruin your hike. I have these fleece uh, flip mitts, which is good for even just cooling off and also taking pictures and not that I text on hikes, but you know what I mean. Then I have my heavy duty fleece lined jacket, which is wind and waterproof. Clearly you can tell wind resistance is the key to a happy Newfoundland winter. Oh, and long, which is good, which covers up my butt, which seems to get the coldest. Um, then I have my neck warmer, which is the bomb. And you put it around your neck, just keeps everything tucked in. You can haul it up over your head and, you know, do the Jackie O, which is awesome. Also, you know, seals up any holes you might have in your gear because you don't want the wind getting at you. Uh, all right, this looks like a strip tease, <laughs> which it kind of is. All right, I have my fleece, thumb holes are the bomb, and a high collar and zip up is good. Oh. Oh. Okay, good. And I don't know if you can see here, I'll go down to my shoes, which are Gore-Tex, and because it's dry out today, I can just wear sneakers, and the wind resistance in them is great. Okay, hold on. So these are the bomb. I also have, of course, hiking boots if you want to kick it up a notch, but my trail today wasn't very snowy, so whenever possible, I like to wear my Gore-Tex sneakers, which are the best invention in the world, especially for Newfoundland because it's always wet. All right, these are my wind pants, which are a lifesaver. Like I said, if you can keep the wind off of you, that's the key to a happy life. And I have two pairs of spandex on under here. These are heavy duty fleece line spandex and underneath them I have uh, just a regular pair of spandex. <coughs> Woo, it's hot. And as well I have knee high ski socks that go up under my spandex, which then keeps your ankles warm and all of that. And normally, I'll just say I would wear gaiters as well, which will keep your calves and your ankles warm. Whew. So I think that's it. Oh, and a, uh, uh, whatever this is, just a poly uh, turtleneck. Turtlenecks are the key too, because they go and cover up your neck and keep all the uh, little gaps and stuff closed. So that's it, that's my gear review for dry, very cold weather in Newfoundland. So hopefully this helps you and you can go out and buy a few of these pieces at a time and get outside and enjoy the winter in Newfoundland because it's actually super beautiful. And once you're out in it, the, the weather doesn't seem to, uh, well, it doesn't seem to affect me when I go out in my everyday because I've already been out there on a hike and it's not so like, oh, it's so cold. Anyhow, enjoy the trails out there. There's tons and it's a fantastic time of year. It's very peaceful out there and it's a good way to see parts of Newfoundland at a time of year when most people aren't out and about. So enjoy your time. Bye.